Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel TechSpot. In this video, Yellowstone has finally released its highly expected new episode titled Cigarettes, Whiskey, A Meadow and You, and we are ready to break it down for you guys. This episode might have been the one that caused the most hype among the fandom due to the striking promo footage. The footage was lasting only a few seconds, but it was implying that there has been a terrible tragedy during the branding journey of the Yellowstone Ranch. So naturally we all were curious about about what has happened and if any Dutton has gotten hurt during it. Now that we watched the episode, we can say that it was not what we had expected that's to say. Yellowstone has once again managed to manipulate us by twisting all of our expectations. So without further ado, let's see what happened during the sixth episode of Yellowstone season five. But before we should take a brief look at the events of the previous episode. The previous episode has been marked by a stark fight between Summer and Beth two women who value very much highly of John. It was clear from the very beginning that Beth was not very much fond of Summer. I mean, she sent Summer to prison. We don't think there is any message clearer than this. So it wasn't a shock to see that. She was disappointed to see her settling in the Yellowstone Ranch and being together with his father. Eventually things about escalated and before we knew it, they were hitting each other fist to fist. Thankfully, Rip intervened and reminded them how ridiculous they were. By that point, their anger for one another was already fading away, being replaced by a friendship based on mutual respect. As we all know, Beth only respects people who stand up for themselves of high courage and never back down despite threats. So the fight was somewhat of a test for Summer to see if she was worthy of Beth's respect, and she passed it. Then we watched the entire ranch getting ready to leave for the branding in the mountains for a couple of days. It was an emotional scene, especially for Monica, who recently lost her baby and is now staying alone for the first time since then. The way Monica acted was very much like a foreshadowing of yet another tragedy as she highlighted to Casey that Tate was the only one left. Therefore, when we saw that emergency helicopters were landing on the ranch and jams tearing up in the promo, we assumed something bad happened to Tate. Thankfully, we were wrong. Episode 6, The Big Tragedy, was that one of the older ranchers of Montana and a dear friend of John, who joined the branding and slept right beside him, died during the night. It was an upsetting incident for sure. Especially the scene where John had to inform the wife of the news was very sad. But naturally it wasn't as upsetting as losing a young boy like Tate. Besides, even the wife of the cowboy seemed to have found condolence in knowing that her husband has died gracefully as a cowboy and moved on with her life immediately by joining the festival. Therefore, we can confirm that the promo was quite misleading and the episode was far from being a tragedy feast. For the majority of the episode, we watched Rip and Beth declaring how much they love each other over and over again. Even though we love the couple, we have to admit that their scenes are becoming a bit too overwhelming and repetitive, as we all know that they are in love and don't need to hear about it every next second. Another thing that kind of Buddhas during this episode was the fact that there was little to no regular conversation between our characters. Now Yellowstone is no stranger to big words, as the Duttons love to speak in prob-like sentences that are filled with metaphors and meanings that are larger than life. But in episode 6, these were the only sentences we heard of which was a little bit too much, since no one in real life speaks like this. Even Monica proved that she is gradually becoming a Dutton as her sort of introduction of the Yellowstone Ranch to Summer with nothing but polish and overly dramatic remarks. We love the pretentious attitude of Duttons, but when they are losing touch with reality, then they are losing us. Still, we appreciated the ode to Elsa Dutton as Summer found her grave and questioned who she was. Monica said the first one for Elsa, which is the most accurate description that she can get for her. We love Elsa's character in 1883 and still feel heartbroken about her untimely death. Thus, it is highly welcome for Yellowstone to honor her legacy every now and then, remembering what has it cost for the Duttons to own this land. Of course, Monica also reminded us that the land was belonging to her ancestors before the Duttons came, which is a foreshadowing of the near future in which we will see the Duttons losing their land back to the Native Americans, as the prophecy suggests. Now, apart from all these, the most important scene of the episode was certainly the one between Jamie and Sarah as their relationship finally has gained more clarity. They have established already before that they were sexual partners in this week's episode. They have also established that they are also strategic partners to topple John. Yes, you heard it right. Jamie agreed with Sarah to overthrow John from his seat as a governor and replace him. When it comes to Yellowstone, it's never easy to be certain about a character's motivations. 
But it seems like this time, Jamie was quite serious about replacing John and trusted Sarah in helping him out. If we know Beth, she would figure this partnership out pretty soon. What would happen to Jamie then? Do you think he has the chance to survive this season? At this point, let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.